Hello everybody, it's Hovering Banana back with another Rocket League news video. And today's topic is dedicated to the Rocket Pass because Psyonix has given us a lot of new spicy information on the topic. But we're also going to be showcasing a bunch of items in the actual Rocket Pass. You can see here I've already given you a little sneak peek into one of the painted items you're going to get. And I'll also be explaining how you can set this up for yourself so you can try on a bunch of the items or you could even play with them in game. Now I must give a little shout out to a redditor called ZoomRL. He was the first person that I came across that discovered these potentially leaked items and it was because of him that I decided to do some digging and find out how I can equip them myself. But let's move on and talk about the Rocket Pass. So Psyonix released a little 40 second video showing the best highlights of the Rocket Pass and I will link that down in the description. But what I'd like to focus on today is the official Rocket Pass page that they released on their website. And because I'm so sweet, I'm also going to link that down in the description. The first thing we see when getting onto this page is two dates. September 5th, which is the start of the Rocket Pass. And you've got November 26th, which is the end date for the Rocket Pass. And after the 26th of November, you'll no longer be able to level this Rocket Pass and can no longer get any additional items from it. We move on and scroll down a bit further and we learn that there are technically two Rocket Passes coming out. There's the one you guys think of first, which is the premium version. This contains 70 items or 70 tiers and you can purchase this Rocket Pass for 10 keys. You can also spend some extra keys to unlock the tiers. Maybe you're a bit rich and you don't want to spend 100 hours getting that final car. Well, that option's available to you. But then you've also got the free version of the Rocket Pass, which contains 29 items. Those items aren't as cool or flashy. They're more along the fun and funky side, but it was a nice feature for them to include nonetheless. So we move on and scroll down again, and they actually include every single item that's in the premium Rocket Pass. Now, I'm not going to go through every single item because that's quite laborious. I'll just tackle the most important ones. And with this premium Rocket Pass, there's one big selling point, and that is a lot of the items can be upgraded once you hit higher tiers. So you get this basic Maverick at tier 1. Once you hit tier 25, it becomes an upgraded version, and it's upgraded once more when you hit that final tier of 70. You've also got a boost called the Cloud Burst, as well as the Jolt Bangle, which is a topper. Those can both be upgraded. Then there's a trail, there's wheels, there's an antenna, all of those can be upgraded. Those troublemakers are actually the wheels you saw in the beginning of the video. Then you've got even more upgradable items. You've got the Supernova Goal Explosion, you've got Phoenix Wings, as well as Capacitator Wheels. And another interesting addition in this Rocket Pass is that you can actually get keys. So from going from level 1 to level 70 in this Rocket Pass, you can get 6 keys. And afterwards you hit the Pro Tier, which I will talk about a bit later. But you can get 4 more keys there as well. So if you play a ton of Rocket League, you can actually earn back the 10 keys that you spent, while at the same time getting a ton of cool fancy stuff, which I think is a really great deal. Now while we're here, there's something I can mention, and that is almost all the items in this premium Rocket Pass can be traded, except for the usual stuff you can't trade. For example, this muscle car engine sound can't be traded. Same thing with that title. But because there's so many cool tradable items in this premium Rocket Pass, you could potentially even make profit when you purchase it. But we move on and we get some more upgrades. There's another key in there. Move on to some more upgrades. We've got another title. Then we move on to something that's new and that's the partly cloudy universal decal. I imagine this is a black market decal which at the price range of 10 keys for this rocket pass is extremely cheap. This could potentially be an import as well. We've seen a lot of fancy looking import decals such as the kaleidoscope. So we're just going to have to wait and see. Move on to another key, some upgrades and XP boost. Then you're upgrading your troublemakers, you've got a paint finish, 10,000 XP, which I think will unlock a lot of those uncommon or rares that you get off the games. And then you keep going on, you just keep getting upgrades, keys, titles, and a whole bunch of other stuff until you hit tier 70 where you get the final Maverick called the Maverick GXT. So that's just a quick look at all the premium items in the Rocket Pass. We can scroll down a bit and we get a glimpse at some of the free items. In there you've got a funky great white topper, you've got a wolf decal for the Merc which looks really cool, and then you've got some really funky watermelon wheels which I'm sure a lot of people are going to love to mess around with. Scroll down a bit more and they tell us about pro tiers. So once you hit that level 70 mark, you can still upgrade your rocket pass even further. Each tier after that you're randomly going to unlock a painted or certified version of an existing unlock. So in this picture you can see there's a painted Maverick and you've also got painted versions of those wheels. And Psyonix has said that you'll keep unlocking these painted versions until you've collected the whole painted set. So we scroll down a bit further and we hit the bottom of the page which has some frequently asked questions. 
The only one that I do want to tackle is how long it will take to unlock every tier in the premium rocket pass. And they say it takes about 100 hours of gameplay. But if you guys do want these other questions answered, the link to this page will be down in the description. But that is most of the stuff you guys need to know about the rocket pass. So let's move on to the showcase section. Now, unfortunately, I don't think there's any way to equip the new Maverick car. So we're just going to have to wait until the release of the rocket pass. But let's start out with the capacitor wheels. These are one of the wheels that can be upgraded. And to me, they look quite similar to the reactor wheels that were released quite recently. When I saw tier one, I thought they were fairly mediocre. However, as they get upgraded, they become a bit more flashier. The tread also becomes more animated. And I think once you hit tier four and you start getting the painted versions, I think they start to look really cool. Now I'm not going to showcase every single painted version. I'm rather going to pick the ones that I really like just so that we don't drag the video on for too long. However, if you do enjoy seeing this showcase, let me know down in the comments and I'll potentially do a whole showcase video for these wheels, toppers, antennas and whatnot. Now from here, let's move on to the gold explosion. And even at tier one, I think it's a really nice item. As you progress to tier two and tier three, it starts to get a bit flashier and the singularity grows bigger. And finally, I'll showcase a forest green singularity. It's a bit faded in the color, but I still think it's really cool. And I think I'll maybe showcase two more singularities for you. Then we move on to the boost called the cloud burst. And personally, I find tier one, tier two and tier three quite average. However, what really makes it up for me is the painted versions. I think they look incredible. They look great. They're very flashy. They sound nice, which is all good features for a boost. I think let's move on to a topper now and we'll go with the Phoenix topper. At tier one, it's very flat and almost looks like just a regular bird. Go to tier two, it adds a bit of flash into it. And then at tier three, it becomes a proper Phoenix. You also get painted versions of these and I'll just show you some of my favorite. Then we've got the antenna, which is called Mage Glass. And it's the same sort of story where it starts to pick up as you go up the tiers. Also get painted versions of these. However, personally to me, I find antennas a bit distracting when I play. So I don't think I'm gonna rock one of these, but it's definitely a nice customization option to have. Now let's head off back to the wheels and we're gonna take a look at the troublemakers. These are the wheels that I showed off in the beginning of the video. To me, they are very similar to Infinium's because when you look at it from the side, it looks like it goes on infinitely. Hence why the other wheels are called Infiniums. And you've also got a centerpiece which tries to make it look a bit more flashy. As you go up the tiers, you also get new flashy treads. And it gives me a bit of a photon vibe over here. And finally, I'll just show you some of my favorite colors before we move on to the next item. And I think I'll showcase one more item, which is the trail called Laser Wave. Tier one and tier two to me look a bit flat, whereas tier three is something I would use. But once we get to the painted versions is when I'm really interested. And these act as like a little finishing touch to have a nice complete car design. Now those are most of the upgradable items in the premium pass. I didn't show off every single one, but like I mentioned earlier, if you guys do want to see a showcase video, be sure to let me know. Now, let me just quickly tell you how you guys can set this up for yourself. I downloaded a program called Backy's Mod, which is very similar to Alpha Console. I think a lot of people know of Alpha Console, but I don't know many that have heard of Backy's Mod. And down in the description, I'm going to link the website to you as well as a video that will help you set it up. And not only is the mod great for changing the appearance of your items, but you can also do a lot of training activities with it as well. And that's a wrap on the Rocket Pass information as well as the showcase. 
Let me know down in the comments what items you guys are most excited for. But as always, thank you guys for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.